Hey there, if you want to take a look to the best sport settings of Photoshop, you are in the right place. So, what I'm doing here into Photoshop is to take a look here into my specific image that I want to export and it's really important what kind of content you want to show. If you want to show this for social media, if you want to show this for a banner, as a banner, uh, as a wallpaper, as only as an iPhone, or you want to just show this like a file, as an email, or, or whatever you want to. So speaking about the best settings that I can give you guys, I can strongly recommend you to stick around with something that has great quality, low compression, and a lower side for sharing. So what I'm going to do now is to do either two things. I can go into file and go into the export section, or I can go into the new brand section of the quick export, which is actually in the upper side. Here it is. Quick export. And what I can do is to have the new bar sharing with everyone sharing that has the application already opened. I can email that or I can save with the application. I can choose more, but in my case, let's say I just want to go into file and go into export. What I want to do is to select the option that says export as or tap Alt Shift Control W. So it's going to be popping up these export settings. So if you want to find a format that can be opened for almost every uh, device, I would strongly suggest you guys to stick around with the second option. Quality, you want to stick around with 100. Here, the image size, it, you just don't want to mess around with this. Scale, leave around 100%. Resample, please stay around with the bicubic. You don't want to mess with this anymore. Speaking about the canvas size, the canvas size is something you're going to be seeing as a preview, so I don't want to mess around with that. If you want to add some metadata, you can add that. In my case, I don't want to do that. And here into the color space, you can either convert that to S to the RGB section or embed a color profile. So that means that if you want to have a specific things about your color, you might be, if you don't enable, if you enable this option, you might encounter with something like the blue colors are a little bit more greener or looks a little bit more rather. So depending on the settings that you have on your computer, this might be changing just a little. In my case, I don't want to convert that because I don't want the color to change so much. I want to stick around with this kind of filter that I just create go into export all and I'm going to choose this PC, go into my desktop and here I'm going to go into save. Lastly, what's going to happen is that now it's going to be exporting it right away. I'll double click into my image and as you can see here is the Canva size. It's not um, too... and as you can see it respect me the color settings and speaking about the size it doesn't even fit like one megabyte, which is actually great because I want to share this among all my files without having to take a lot of size, taking a lot of space here. So there you have it guys. Hopefully this was a very useful video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.